Now you probably know this already, but your brain and eyes and ears are lying to you. Your eyes are telling you that pictures shown in a movie theater are actually moving. We may go to a motion picture film, but are you aware that the only part of a motion picture that you see is the part that's not moving? You are actually watching stationary images, and if enough images are shown quickly enough, you interpret that to be fluid, continuous movement. A flip book or flick book is one of the earliest examples of motion pictures. These were developed in the 1800s and created a moving image. You may have created these when you were a child. You may have drawn a picture that changes slightly in a notebook. And as you flick the pages rapidly, it appears that the image is moving. So you were able to animate and create your own sort of little movie within a book. Now it's not quite the same as the animated movies that we watch today in high definition, but it's the same principle. Your eye remembers the image, even though the page is not seen, and your eye and brain trick you into seeing movement, even though all you've got is static images on a page. Now some flip books contain photographs where there are slight movements in an image, and that is a very basic form of motion pictures from the 1800s. Now a modern day example of the same principle can be found with GIF images which have become quite popular. Now it's quite simple to create a GIF image and I'll show you an example in a moment. You simply upload static images or photographs. You arrange them in a specific order. You then adjust the speed and you generate your GIF. So once again, it's the principle of taking individual pictures and creating your own little movie from those static images. Here's an example of a GIF. So it's a very simple GIF, and it's similar to what you may have seen if you had attended a movie many years ago. I've also uploaded this GIF to a website that shows the individual frames in order in the GIF. So as an example, you can see the three is shown multiple times as it's transitioning. This is to do with refresh rates, and we'll discuss more about refresh rates later. But it basically helps reduce flicker when you display the same image multiple times. So as we scroll down, you can see it's going through numbers three to one. And what we can do now is animate that GIF. And there it is. Now notice what happens if we skip some of the frames. So I'm gonna simply skip most of three and then animate it again. And what you'll notice is the three is not shown for a long period of time and there's no nice transition of three to two. So that's all a video is or a GIF is. It's simply a series of pictures or frames to use a analog term that is then played for a period of time which then creates a video. You can see the delay for an individual image. So let's change that to something like 100 rather than 10. And let's see how that changes the feel of the GIF or video. So as you can see, the three shows for a long period of time before transitioning to two. So that's a very simple way to create a video from individual frames or individual pictures.